so this is the whole process of metastasis metastasis is a important phenomenon in cancer cell and this diagram the whole diagram shows how a normal cell transform into a cancer cell and after transforming sorry in tumor cells after transforming in tumor cells how those cells migrate from their primary origin to a secondary site so travel from primary origin to the secondary site it called a process that is metastasis so first what is metastasis the question is what is metastasis cancer cells need to spread and multiply at new site cancer cells need to spread and multiply at new site in the body through a process metastasis because we have it have to increase its number of the cells to kill the persons to kill the patient so the whole process is called metastasis so this is a normal epithelial cell lining on a basement base basal lamina this is the circulatory like uh, blood vessels these are blood vessels now these normal epithelial cell now transform into a tumor this normal cell this normal cell losses its normal function and so a unprogrammed cell proliferation and ultimately a tumor is formed this tumor is called a benign tumor why this is benign tumor because still now this tu these tumor cells are confined in a particular site they can't spread through the blood capillaries or lymphatic system they confined in a particular area so that is why it is called a benign tumor now in this in this third picture diagram we can see that the cells become invasive and enter into the capillary so a main character of tumor cell uh, a malignant a uh, sorry a uh, metastatic cells metastatic tumor cells is invasive invasiveness so invasiveness is one of the defining properties of malignant tumor invasiveness so now these tumor cells invade into the uh, invade uh, through the capillaries or penetrate blood vessels these tumor cells penetrate blood vessels to invade the surrounding tissue so these tumor cells now in capillaries you have to you have to memorize one thing that lymphatic vessels being larger and having more flimsy walls than blood vessels so they are more easily so tumor cells more easily penetrate a lymphatic system and ultimately they aggregate into lymph nodes and ultimately the cancer uh, the tumor cells spread through the lymphatic system so now this circulatory system through this circulatory system tumor cells attached with this these are tumor cells or at this tumor cells attached with the epithelial lining of the cells of the blood capillaries and ultimately invade the surrounding tissue so adhere to blood vessels wall in the liver suppose this is a liver cells this is a liver and so tumor cells adhere to blood vessels wall in the liver and after that escape from blood vessels now the cancer cell readily escape from the blood vessels to form a micrometastasis so what is micrometastasis micrometastasis means small colony first tumor cells invade the surrounding tissue or at distant site by forming a micro colony or small colony because because all the because among the 
वन इन वन इन वन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मिलियंस ट्यूमर सेल्स एबल एबल टू इन्वेट द थराउ टिश्यू और एबल टू मेक अ कॉलोनी ऑल द सेल्स द मैक्सिमम सेल्स आर नॉट सर्वाइव इन द न्यू एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज कैंसर नीड्स अ एनवायरमेंट अ सुटेबल एनवायरमेंट फॉर द फॉर देयर सर्वाइवल सो दिस ट्यूमर सेल्स इन्वेट द थराउ टिश्यू एंड फॉर्म ए माइक्रो मेटास्टेट माइक्रो मेटास्टेटिक कॉलोनी so after that the colony uh, shows the tumor cells that invade the uh, invade the liver tissues ultimately form a malignant tumor or form or metastatic uh, metastatic uh, metastatic growth and ultimately a large tumor colony is formed in the liver so start from here end here so these process is called metastasis metastasis is a multiple process cancer cell first have to invade the local tissue first have to invade the local tissue and vessels so first have to invade the local tissue and vessels after that move through the cells now the tumor cells uh, now the cancer cells move through the circulations move through the circulations then attached with the vessels now leave the vessels leave the vessels leave the vessels and ultimately establishment of a new colony many cancer cells are discovered before they have managed to found metastatic colonies many cancer cells are discovered before they have managed to found a metastatic colony and can be cured by destructions cured by destructions of the primary tumor cured by destructions of the primary tumor but occasions and undetected micro metastatic will remain dormant will remain dormant for many years only to reveal its presence by erupting into growth to form a large secondary tumor long after primary tumor so sometime this secondary tumor does not express or remain in dormant dormant still dormant stage until the first primary tumor has been removed out so this is the character of a secondary tumor that remained in dormant stage for many years so micro stage micro metastatic colony micro metastatic colony remains for many years until they form a large tumor even formation of the large tumor they cannot they can't express when we remove the primary tumor now this cells uh, now this secondary tumor is express out and form a metastatic colony a large metastatic colony so this is the whole process of metastasis how metastasis so this is a normal cell a, a, here is a important term that epithelial cell epithelial cells have adhere property they can't invade surrounding tissue epithelial cells normal epithelial cells can't invent invade surrounding tissue they adhere to each other so they have to uh, transform their normal character so there is a term epithelial mesenchymal transitions emt e m t so emt means epithelial mesenchymal transitions occur because mesens mesenchymal cell can invade mesenchymal cell can invade the surrounding tissue and moves and travel through the circulation but epithelial cells but normal epithelial cell unable to uh, invade the th surrounding tissue so they have to change their characters change to invade uh, uh, to invade the surrounding tissue at distance or uh, uh, to formations of a tumor at distance site so in emt is important term epithelial mesenchymal transitions so this is the whole process how metastasis occur it is a very important 
uh, meta metastatic cells uh, need needs metastatic cells need a favorable micro environment so metastatic cells needs a favorable micro environment uh, and one important things uh, these are tumor cells suppose and these are tumor cells and travel through blood stream fewer than one in one thousands or one million cells will survive to form metastasis only one only one in one thousands or even one million cells among one million cells will survive to form metastasis because they cannot survive in unfavorable conditions and Un unfavorable condition does not allow to grow them so they need a favorable environment to form a, a large size tumor so this is the process of metastasis thank you